guys, what's going on? It's your boy B back once again for another edition of the Wheel of Fortune Road Trip. Last time we played, we were in the Big Easy New Orleans, Louisiana, and I pretty much gave the game away to the person right behind me. I feel in most of the hard work, I picked one wrong letter, and they picked the Pokemon. And that's what you gotta do sometimes if you really wanna win in this game. Just take advantage of your player's mistake and capitalize. That's what happened. That's all I can say. But on this edition of the Wheel of Fortune Road Trip, we're going back to the Windy City, Chicago, Illinois, and we're going to hopefully finally make a bonus round that I can solve and win some money. So let's do this, and let's play... Wheel of Fortune! Let's do it. First toss-up of the day, $1,000. Category, same name. Let's get on it. Once again, thank you for watching another edition of Wheel of Fortune Road Trip right here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day out there. Ready for some puzzle solving. And Louise, playing in their blue position, takes this one early and says Wrigley and Sally Field. Very good. So Wrigley Field, the home of the World Champion Chicago Cubs. Never thought you'd say that, say that in my lifetime. We got $1,000. We go to the 90s now for $2,000 in the control of round one. Bet I know it. There you go. Got it in time. Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen. Of course, the dynamic duo that led the Chicago Bulls to six national NBA championships. Alright, got $2,000. I have to leave right now and I get to start the first round. The category is movie title. And we are already underway for you on this one. Hope you guys have a one day. 900, we're going to start with the S. Alright, um. So last time I talked a little bit about places that I wanted to visit in the world. And a lot of, a lot of those places, again, no, your normal tourist attractions. Places I want no part in visiting. I think that would be a appropriate in response to me. Wait, uh, starting with places in the U.S. I don't want to visit. Um, the start is pretty much anywhere down Tornado Alley. Violent weather. I'm not saying that there aren't people in the Midwest that aren't nice people. I mean, there's genuine people and there's good places to visit around. I just personally have no interest in wanting to go to any of those places. Um, another place I don't want to really particularly visit is like, um, everybody says, ooh, go to Alaska. Go to Alaska. Go to Alaska. Go to really cold. I'm like, I could, but me and cold weather don't get along that well. I'd rather it be burning up hot where I can drink some water. And deal with that more so than I would rather be um, dealing with having I, I, I am getting older, and Lord knows my body tells me to stay But um, I had a bad, and here's the story time. Uh, when I was about 11 years old, I had a really bad bike accident. I was just going out to visit one of my friends one day. Uh, there's this little, there's this little, uh, Part of the road where the pavement stops and my rock road is down the driveway at that point. Um, rode my bike coming down the hill from the rocks jumping onto the pavement, and from there I ended up my chain after getting get caught in the wheel of my tire. I put head over heels, handlebars in hand. Yes, I I pretty much destroyed my bicycle doing this. Um, and ended up basically tearing my knee pretty much almost to the boat. I mean, I could see muscle, and I could—I thought I saw at one point in time bone sticking out. But turns out I think it was just some cartilage because I was at the If it was bone in it, I would have had to have surgery. But basically, I was that kid that ended up um, wanting to. Uh, I walked it off. I cried all the way home. 
Come on, man. You can catch that best you could. You can use you getting afford a hospital bill. So basically, uh, with enough antiseptics and gave my knee time, it basically healed itself up, and I ended up getting back to the water. I still have a slight, I mean, barely notice it, because I've done a lot of work to try to correct it. But occasionally, when I'm just being lazy, you'll notice a slight limp. If you ever meet me right you now, there's a slight limp to my left. That's because it was my left knee that got torn up. And I try to make sure I don't do that. So being the fact that I messed up my knee, ended up kind of sort of really... Uh, being, my knee gets affected a lot by the weather changes, especially when I like, right before it rains, it hurts a little. But during the winter when it's cold, it gets ready to snow. Oh, my knee is almost terrible. So I'll usually either have like a knee pad or a brace underneath what I'm wearing typically. And something just to kind of help give it that extra support I need, not to mention keep it warm. So again, cold weather, very bad for me. Warm weather, I'm so much better with I'd rather be laying on the beach, sipping a nice beverage of sorts, than watching the snow fly and building a snowman. Because no, Elsa, I do not want to build a snowman. Sorry. Anyway, that's my story time for today. And as you saw, I managed to actually tell you a story and win the first round of the game while doing so. So, bonus points to me. We're in round two now of uh, this game of Little Fortune. The category is $3,500 on the wheel, and it's our jackpot round. Now that I got all the official stuff out of the way. Um, $400, let us go with an N. Cool, time to buy some vowels. E! My friend Kyle would have died a little on the inside. Buy another vowel, I. Um, gonna buy another vowel. O. And there are no more vowels. There are no vowels left. Oh wait, sorry, not that I didn't know vowels left. I don't have enough money for it. I thought I had more. Um, L. Okay. Um, now I can buy a vowel. A. All right. Um. Spinning. Let's go. Jackpot's out there. I'm going to try for it today. Or not. I'll take 3500 though. That is cool with me. Why? Because I picked it. Bam! $7,000. $9,750 that round. $16,550. I am in the lead comfortably as we get up to the mystery round. $10,000 out there. I have the lead. And you know what? I might gamble if I can hit a mystery round. I can't believe it. Just because it's in the boot. 400. And there are no L's. Back to me. Surprisingly, the free spin is still out. I don't think I can talk about the free spin. It really gets hit by me. But hey, free spin's out there. Chance for me to get it. And hey, Mystery Wedge. Just like I said. I said I'd take a chance. But the thing is, I think it's the other Mystery Wedge with the big money. So I'm going to say R. Yeah, with $3,000, I'm going to say no. I'm going to keep my turn, and I'll spin. If I land on the other Mr. Wedge, that's the one I want. That's the blue 700 you see on the wheel. Baby. So, if I land there, I'll take a gamble there. But I uh, don't think I'm going to have the chance, because that's a loss of turn. Bob Bank, by the way, I haven't mentioned him today. Bob Bank is our yellow player. I'm doing story time earlier. And he's going to get himself 900 Looks like my twin, but not there. Luis, your turn. And Luis gets 300. Yes. Okay. Be there. Be there. Hey, 3,500. That can make things interesting. And thankfully, not this time around. Oh, another funny little story. Well, I know any stories. Story time episode of With a Fortune Road Trip. So, story time. 
Sorry, Thomas. I, I mean, if you, I don't think Thomas Sanders is ever watch any of my episodes. Hey, if you want to share this with him, just let him know. That would be awesome. Anyway, story time. For the first like three or four years of my existence on this planet, I was I knew I was going to be a game show lover, particularly of Wheel of Fortune. I was a little kid learning my alphabet. The reason why I watched Wheel, I liked watching the wheel. I was a but once I got to start learning, trying to learn my alphabet, I took I took this game show to heart because I honestly thought that for the first three years of my existence, that the first six letters of the alphabet, no kidding, were R, S, T, L, N, and E. Because that, to me, like, why would they, because to me, as a three-year-old, this is how my, weird my brain works. As a three-year-old, why would they give them those six letters if they weren't the first six and they got to pick the three they want after that? So that was my logic behind the whole ordeal, and that's why I, until I was about age four, four and a half, when I finally learned what my alphabet, my proper alphabet was, I thought the first six letters of the alphabet were the bonus letters you get in Wheel of Fortune. Who knew, right? Funny stories. Anyway, story time is now over. Them. Now I know most of this. I know most of this puzzle, so we're gonna hopefully see what I can do here. Before and after. I have the lead, so basically, as long as nobody scored a whole lot of money, I'm pretty sure I'm safe for the bonus now. But I've swept the first two. I'm trying to sweep all three. And hello, 3,500. Scaring me again with my opponent seeing the big money and. Luis is going to try to solve it. Short order, Cook County. She got it. Picked up the house minimum of $1,000 to win in the game, and it's over. I won with $16,550. I'm going on the bonus round this time. Yeah. Chicago being good to me. Bob Bang. I hope on it to you. Luis, $2,000. Thanks for playing. Time for the bonus round for me. Category this time. Classic TV. All right. I should be I watched a lot of TV as a kid. Classic TV, I might have a chance at it. Here's my first six letters of the alphabet. R, S, T, L, N, N, E. Alright, three consonants and a vowel. Um, Oh, I actually know this one. I actually know a puzzle already. B, C, Z, O. If I miss this, there's something wrong with me. I used to watch him too a lot. He was on the air on WGN Chicago. Bozo the Clown. Yes! A bonus round victory. What's in the envelope? Give me the big money. 100000 Nope. 25000 That's okay. Big win there. Finally got a bonus round puzzle. The streak has been broken. $41,550. Nicely done for me. And a good stop in the Windy City. Revitalizing my run here on the Real Fortune Road Trip. All right, next time, we're headed to our nation's capital. That's right, we're revisiting Washington, D.C. I think I was there the very first season of the Real Fortune Road Trip. Haven't been back, but I'm looking forward to being back in our nation's capital for that one. So this should be a good episode ahead. So again, thank you for watching this video. Give this video a like for me actually solving a bonus round puzzle. If you do that, I would be very grateful. And leave your comments below to tell me how you did if you were playing along at home. And again, thank you for watching. Remember, if you like what you see, you hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more great game shows and fun here on MVP Productions. And ring the bell. That way you never miss a video I drop right here. And until we, until the wheel spins your way once again, and I can hopefully keep this momentum up, I'm your host, Brandon Scar, saying thanks for watching another episode of the Wheel of Fortune Road Trip. We will see you next time. See you on down the road. Bye for now, folks.